Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 83 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. We just finished off a battle at the Sky Bridge, and we've returned to the castle. So, for some reason, it's really cloudy. That never happens around here. So, yeah, the sky is enveloped in clouds, just floating around being clouds and things. When something flashes on out from a gap in the clouds. Ah, Fia, look out! So, without any warning, falling out of the sky came a bunch of ice pillars. Without being able to dodge all of them, they got to Fia, and she gets thrown to the ground. Well, is she alright? She says she's alright, it just grazed her. But what happened? So after this attack, there's a great big noise assaulting the castle and the residents start making a fuss that's when a voice comes down from the sky no it's not god so we've apparently in stepped into this guy's territory He says we happen to be brave for doing it. But we are simply are not wary enough. This place is always a battlefield that we've entered into. And we simply don't understand that. And further, scampering along on the ground in our... Well, we were trying to find a way for the castle. Basically means nothing to these dragons. He's going to show us what it means to be fighting dragons. So this is Kalmerd. And as one of the proud dragons, he's going to kick us out of his lands. Yeah, you and what are... Hmm, okay. So, there are a lot of dragons. Since the cloud was... Since the sky was all cloudy, who knows how many are just waiting up there to ambush us. Yeah. Enough so that it envelops the entire horizon, it says. The entire, their entire field of view. <sighs> so, they're coming in. So get him. Show those fools the power of the dragon tribes. So they say dragon tribes, but I can see a number of those. They qualify as goblinoids at least. They basically look like evil elves. Bah. So there are a bunch of dragons coming on board the castle. And furthermore, on the ones that can fly, there are a number that can't fly that dismount with their weapons ready. <laughs> that was a male resident. <laughs> that was a female resident. So... They're just indiscriminately attacking anybody they see. Uh, and... 
A good portion of those are actually people who are just looking and didn't have weapons. <laughs> oh, everybody, we've got to protect them. She stared us a bit like maybe she was hurt more than the simple grace. So if Ara tells Sphia to stay back, since she's injured already. <laughs> but, but. Okay, amongst the castle people, those who are quick have managed to mount a bit of a defense. Alright, first prioritize getting the residents out of harm's way. Everyone who can fight to the front. Alright, knights. Dispatch. Everybody fight. Protect the people. Blah, blah, blah. So, Deet and Kisner are giving orders to the Komodo Dragon Force. Rishu and Seri accuses them of not having any pride, these dragon tribes, for pursuing non-combatants right from the very start. Yeah, Rishu's right at the front of it. That's only natural. But, amongst the numbers of dragons we're facing right here, our military force is actually rather overpowered. Oh, he says that we're the ones who invaded their lands first. And for that reason, we have broken the rules of war. So he doesn't need to do any, observe any particular rules himself. BS. Even if we are a bunch of fools who leapt into danger. Do I need to get talking about the concept of just war here? Well, it's not likely he's listening to me, so I'll spare you guys. So he continues... He continues ordering his dragons forward. And declares that this is what it means to be taboo. So apparently he's using our the tabooness of the castle in order to claim that justice is on his side. And we who weren't prepared were simply foolish to come here in the first place. So, hurry up, lay down and die, and give up the castle as well. After all, your god is already unable to fight. Oh, so that's why they attacked Fio right from the start. So while we were out exploring the Sky Dragon Bridge, they were watching us from above the clouds in order to figure out who the god was. Man! He really got us. Now, yeah, Varl was saying to himself that he's not going to let him, us be defeated here. Especially not to a sneaky trap like this. But, in Kalmerog's eyes, you can clearly see that this sneaky trap had exactly the effect he wanted. So, he set us in confusion, and we're totally on the defensive. Yeah, this might be bad. Alright. 
Eel recommends that Thea should retreat from battle. No way. In a circumstance like there's no there's no way she can do it by herself. Okay, Mikikeu says that if Fia is defeated, everyone would lose their will to fight. So as long as you're injured, we can't let you go out there. You should prioritize yourself. Fia's still trying to go, and Rosaline is the next one to pull her back. Alright, you three. Can you get Fia to safety? So, of course. Here, first, let's find a safe place. And she just mumbles, okay, alright. She really doesn't have much will, much backbone behind some of the things she does, does she? I remember this really great scene she had early on. Uh, but nowadays she seems more like a damsel in distress all the time. So, the assault keeps coming! Alright, everybody somehow push them back. Yeah, somehow. We can't let them hurt the castle anymore, so... <gasps> Counterattacks, everyone! Alright, we'll protect the people and stuff. So, hold your ground. If we can withstand this, there should be a chance for victory. Stake your lives and protect the people. So, we're fighting pretty desperately. But, unexpressionally, we are slowly getting pushed by, hacked by the Dragon Tribes. In the confusion and chaos, everything we try to protect is getting, you know, beaten back. Karmelg seeing thinks that this is simply too easy. Humans are just such fragile creatures. Although he got a report from one of his underlings that one of Mosteria's angels had taken sides with us, it seems it was unnecessary for him to know. So with this, we should, they should be able to handle this taboo power. And the old guy is, or an, and he can deliver a good report to the old guy. I. Ah, Katurito is going to tell Kaurmeg to stop it. So, if Katurito has survived, as Kaurmeg expected, and now she's on the side of the taboo, as expected as well. She really doesn't have any dragons tri dragon tribes pride in her. So he's gonna kill her. And here ends the bloodline of the Thunder Dragons. <laughs> Oh, okay, she will, isn't going to let him. Not merely just killing her, but 
everybody on the castle, apparently. Awesome. Man, the numbers just don't decrease. These dragon tribes are endless. This is bad. If we don't do something... Ta -da! And at that moment, the clouds in the sky abandoned the cloud, abandoned the sky, and came into the castle. So now the field of vision is on our side. They can't tell how many of us we are, there are, and we can tell how many of them there are. <clears throat> Convenient. Well, now, what's this? So, what's going on here? There shouldn't be anybody besides, besides us that can manipulate the sea of clouds. So, Carmeg just says that. And makes his decision. So he sees. That's what you will do, is it? To whom is he speaking? Oh well, maybe we'll find out. Fall back. We have acquired enough victory on this battle. Hmm. We have achieved enough results here. But Kalmeg, if we keep pushing, we can defeat them. The circumstances have changed. The Sea of Clouds is no longer in our hands, and if we continue like this, we'll... we'll take great casualties. So, this form of assault is based on keeping them on the defensive and disordered. So, the particular battle plan has fallen apart, so, understand. All right, understood. With that, the dragons start pulling back. But Karmark has something left to say. We will survive to live another day, but... We will not be allowed to proceed any further. So, they are going to eat every last one of us that invaded their territory. And he's particularly looking forward to the meaty women and children. Sadistic fuck. So, until the moment you die, quiver in fear, and until we come to tear you to pieces, Wallow in despair. Sadistic fuck. So clearly he considers dragons well superior to humans and all the rest of the stuff we have on board. So yeah, he's pretty much playing the carnivore here. <laughs> So, quivers you wait until we come and overwhelm you.
so he leaves with one of those invincible smug smiles on his face damn it we got beat sorry everyone I kind of knew that dragons could fly and things but I never really thought about it as a tactical use alright if you want to apologize do it later we still got stuff to do point all right, let's take a look at the damage and the injuries. Kisnir will direct the knights in the cleanup. And understood here, we should prioritize the research into who's injured, etc. We also want to see how badly Fia was injured. She said it was a scratch, jeez. Damn it, for them to make our castle into their battlefield. Dun dun dun. So, yeah, that was bad. And I can't go in my workshop. I like my workshop. But I capture some, some things. Not very much in that particular map. Okay. So, yeah, I did not capture much. And why do I keep capturing these spirits? Have it, I suppose. So, Kisner has got her observations on the latest battle, and Fia has hers as well. But. I'm going to call it a day. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.